Okay. Now I have the infrared LED on. This is interesting because the camera sees the infrared very well, so it looks like a bright purplish uh, color. But actually, it's even brighter than that in uh, uh, infrared. It's brighter than what the camera makes it seem like. The camera makes it seem kind of dim, but it's in infrared. It's brighter than that. Okay, whatever. Anyways, um, but uh, to me, it looks kind of like a, just a red, uh, a really dim red very dim dark red color that is so interesting but got to make sure not to look at it too much with my eyes because uh, I have noticed fuzzy vision in a spot if I look at these for too long all right so this one works yeah we're doing uh, 470 milliamps at 3.78 volts so I'm running them at a little bit less uh, amperage than they normally would run, or normally can run, or that they, they say that they can run, just to be safe. Alright, there we go. So, uh, I'll show you more about this later. That thing is uh, uh, being reworked uh, again for the bajillionth time, but okay, this will be the last time have to work on this thing until I actually get the you see how this uh, was put on a disc that's made out of um, uh, foam board and I have to uh, hot glue everything in place and uh, uh, let me see I have to hot glue everything in place and uh, like cut plastic tubing and make other small pieces of plastic tubing to fit inside that plastic tubing to be able to hold the uh, lens of uh, exactly 10, 10 millimeters away from the uh, what you call it the uh, yeah, the sensor uh, instead of having to do all that I'm thinking about getting a 3d printer sometime in the future they're coming down in price. Apparently, you can buy one for like 160 bucks. So, anyways, and um, the good thing about having a 3D printer to be able to make these face plates is that I can actually um, I can do precision building. Precision. I can have precision and repeatability. So that'll be great. Okay. Thanks, people. Talk to you guys later. Bye.